First of all, like always, uh, <laughs> you can recognize that voice. <laughs> I don't know who's talking up there, but um, first of all, I want to I want to thank uh, you guys for covering coming coming and covering Penn State football like always. I want to thank our fans because obviously less than ideal uh, situation, and our fans were were phenomenal. Um, you know, I, from all the reports I was getting, we were going to have a, a tough weather game, um, but it was beautiful all day until until we stepped on the field, and then it opened up and, and didn't stop. Um, so the fact that our fans were out there and supporting us uh, the entire game, that doesn't happen too many places around the country anymore. Um, some programs are having a hard time keeping people after the first half, no matter the circumstances. So. I'm, I'm really appreciative of our students. I'm really appreciative of our, of our fans in general. You know, when it comes to the game, uh, the things that I'm coming here about, and I'm always so proud about, and how we play situational football and pound my chest about them, we didn't do a good job with those today. We did win the, the field position battle. Barney obviously has been a big part of our success there all year long. He's been phenomenal. Um, he should be getting more uh, you know, people talking about how well he's playing, in my opinion. We, we did not win the turnover battle. Coming into this game, I think we were number two in the country in turnover ratio. Well, we saved them all up for tonight. Um, you know, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. Fortunately, for most of the game, our defense was either able to get a turnover back um, or they just played great sudden change defense. They, they played phenomenal. Um, I think we started the game with five straight three and outs, uh, which, which is really, really impressive. Uh, we lost a penalty battle, um, and we lost the explosive play battle. So you know, not really our formula for how we win, but again, like I said earlier, you know, there is a ton of value of being able to win games under less than ideal situations. So, um, you know, we're going to go into this bye week. Uh, it is a bye week, not an off week. It is a bye week, and we got to get better this week. We got a tough stretch coming up with Michigan. Uh, we got to we got to get in that in that facility, and uh, we'll practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The players will have off the weekend. The, the coaches will go recruit on the weekend. Um, we'll get a obviously a head start not only on our next opponent but the next couple opponents we also need to live in the training room and get as healthy as we possibly can um, but it's coming at a good time it's coming at a good time so again i appreciate you guys coming out and happy to answer questions raise your hand with the mic steve james uh, what are you able to share with us with respect to katron not playing in the first half and in regard to the fumbles, do you just chalk that up to bad weather and some clean shots, or no. other things your guys weren't doing well? Thanks. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm never going to allow the weather to be an excuse. Um, it doesn't matter. We have got to protect the football. Now, a couple of their hits, the day, day clinic hit in terms of the one that the guy came downhill, uh, we were running a play that we call Wasp, and the safety came down and put his hat right on the ball. But part of ball security is pad level. You, you, got, you got to take all shots with the top of your pads. Obviously, you can't take, take, take on a, a helmet with, with the ball. That ain't going to end well. Um, but we didn't handle it well. But, but no, the weather will never be an excuse for us. Um, we, we obviously need to continue working there. We don't go inside when it rains. And sometimes they, you know, they're looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, what do we have the indoor for? That, that's why. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to do that. We'll emphasize that week, this week, even more. Um, but what was the other part? Okay, oh, K Trump. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of times, and I know everybody has different approaches with these things. I don't get into injuries, and I don't get into internal decisions. And I know sometimes that puts you guys in a tough position. Um, and I apologize for that. But again, um, I would rather keep those decisions internal, um, whether it's injuries, uh, whether it is um, behavior modification, 
whatever it may be, rotations, whatever it is, uh, we're going we're gonna to keep those internal. I know that's tough on you guys, and I apologize for that, but I just don't think it's really anybody else's business um, you know, for those decisions to be announced publicly. Either it doesn't help us from a competitive standpoint, or it, uh, it's, it's undue embarrassment uh, when there's already a level of punishment that's happening. Given what you, whatever you wanted to accomplish in your first five games, do you think this team is prepared for Michigan? Yeah, I, I think we have done what we needed to do to this point, right? We're we're five and up. I you know, I I, I don't have the the uh, ability like you guys to see the scores um, of of I don't know what happened at Michigan this week. Um, I don't know what happened around the country. I just was watching a game in there, kind of saw on the, on the board, I think it was the LSU game. But winning is hard. It, it, is, it is hard, week in and week out. I put examples up every Sunday of games that, that people, to your point, it doesn't give you a whole lot of confidence when you go for it on third and one, you don't pick it up to go for it on fourth and one. Um, but I thought, again, I thought, for the most part, we, we controlled the line of scrimmage, um, but, the, but the turnovers obviously really skewed the perception of everything. Two more, Audrey, and then uh, James. Um, how would you kind of evaluate the way that Sean played today? Obviously, he had that really good turnover free stretch, but that, that came to an end today. Um, and you said that there was no, wasn't a conversation on the headset about using Drew, but how would you kind of evaluate what you've gotten out of Drew to this point in the season? Yeah, so um, I don't have, oh, I guess I do have um, a 10 of 20 with, with one interception and one touchdown. Um, you know, obviously, that's not up to the standard that he normally plays at. Um, obviously, the, the one interception, there could have been a couple others. Um, but. But overall, he did a great job in the run game. He did a great job managing the situation. He did a great job uh, managing the clock. Uh, there was a lot of things that you know, there was a ton of value in. But yeah, I don't, I don't think this was one of Sean's, Sean's best games. Uh, and just like I am for the running backs, uh, I'm not going to allow the weather to, to be an excuse. James, as you head into the bye week here, just what are your first impressions on the areas for growth you want to focus on this week, either it being on the field or in the film room, finding areas for, for growth? What are some of the things that come to mind? Yeah, you know, after tonight, obviously the thing that jumps out to you is, is ball security, and that's that's ball security in the running game, um, especially on a night like this, you know, what we call capping, where you take the extra hand over the ball, you know, decision making that we're not throwing the ball and putting the ball at risk. Um, those things are important, you know, to, to Neil's point, you know, doing a better job in short yard situations. We work really hard to get to short yard situations. We got to do a better job of executing them. And then the same thing on the defensive side of the ball, not necessarily tonight, but um, third and long. We've done a pretty good job of getting the third and long situations and we've let people off the hook in those. So we got to be, we got to be better there. Our PAT field goal uh, protection in the middle, we made some subtle adjustments there with personnel and some techniques, and I thought that 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 was better tonight. Uh, so we'll we'll continue to build there. Um, but there's a lot of areas we will look at ourselves. Uh, we'll do a cross the ball self scout, and then obviously we'll also uh, we'll also get a head start, like I mentioned, on on our opponents, and, and that'll be kind of a blend this week of, of both of those things. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.